Today's show is brought to you by ExpressVPN. They're the fastest VPN we've ever used. Try them out at expressvpn.com slash funhouse. Ryan, I think that you could be the next Adam Sandler. I was going to put that out the there. The next Adam Sandler. You're talking about me getting like a $20 million uh, picture Netflix deal at some point in the near future? Yeah, 10 picture, 10 picture deal. 10 picture deal. All right, I'm into that. I mean this also in like a personality way because I think, you know how Adam Sandler, like he's so fucking rich. He's made a ton of movies. Uh-huh, Everybody knows uh-huh. him worldwide, but he still wears like basketball shorts to the Oscars. Yes. I don't mean this in a derogatory way. I mean this in the best way because it means that he's authentic, true to himself, hasn't changed, hasn't let money change Is him, that what fame that means? change him. I think so. <laughs> okay. Good. I'm glad that that's what you think. Yeah, because that's how I take it too. And I think that you could be the the same type of person where like you're making great movies. The friends that you had 20, 30 years ago are still the people that you look out for. Hell yeah. And I bring them on to all my movies. And I the only thing that changes is the thread count of my sweatpants. They may be a little more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's a luxury sweat. It's time for woo woo. I'm ready on you, you. We got a lot to do. Well, thank you, Elise. That's a high compliment. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm, I truly mean it. Uh, that being said, I am so glad. Well, I really appreciate it. I really, really appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Elise. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> 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 I'm so glad you did that because uh, it's going to feel especially worse when I gloat now that Canada is kicking America's ass in the Olympics. Fuck, is that true? Let me hold, let me look that up real quick. I got to Google that. Fuck. Okay, I guess I guess ratio to population. That doesn't, Canada ca- no has, one gives a shit about that. Ratio to popula- population. Ratio to population, Canada's got more medals. So what? That's why we have all the babies so we can get more medals. You think that that's how that works? You're playing <laughs> Lying, you're lying with statistics right now. Let me see this. You guys have two <laughs> gold medals. We have nine. Yeah. You guys have three silver. We have eight. You have three bronze. Okay. We have eight bronze. Okay, we're beating you in every kind of medal. And we have 35 million people that all live along the border and could barely survive if they moved even, you know, 50 miles north. Start having more sex. It's not my fault that you guys are too cold to... Fuck each other. So everyone that's watching this, USA, USA, I don't care where you're from, USA, USA, at least with me. I liked it better USA. when you were Adam Sandler. USA, USA. <laughs> <laughs> Johan Smallberries on the Meddling Kids Funhouse Olympic Games video says, to be fair, at least Canada is like the America of the Winter Olympics. Y'all just snatching up all them curling medals like it's nothing. All right, who gives a shit about the Winter Olympics, okay? It's all about the Summer Olympics. It, it might as well be the World Games 2022 in Birmingham, okay? That's about as much as everyone cares about the Winter Olympics. I think we should reach out to them and ask if Funhouse <coughs> could be the the official coverage of the Birmingham World yes, Olympics. I would love to, yeah. The, the World Games. World Games 20, oh, well, 2022. Oh, pardon me. You know, NBC, what, throws down a hundred billion dollars to be the correspondence of the Olympics. We could, I, I probably throw down at least a thousand dollars and and get the World Games exclusive coverage rights. Well, Ryan, that that would be that that, that would be a lot of money, Ryan. That'd be more money than I've ever seen, Ryan. That's not a good. That's not good. <laughs> Scooby Doo. <laughs> Scooby Doo. Uh, here's another comment from the Scorpion King game is somehow worse than the movie from Shinjin. Ryan, you made the right decision. You told the potential employer about the damage in the couch so it could be more appropriately addressed. As you told a story in this video, we'll probably show a little clip of it here. I went to a job interview where I had a big gash on my hand. Halfway through the job interview, I looked down and they and I and I, my thing is opened up and it's all over this oh. red white couch and they Ryan. haven't seen it. Ryan. So my next thing is like, do I? <laughs> just leave this job interview and they'll see it later? Or do I bring this up right now? It's funny Shingen brings that part up because I, we have a very special guest on today's Woo Woo, Elise. You know who it is? Who who? My, <laughs> the response. It's my friend, Greg, the other potential job perspective. He tells the whole story here. I got him to, I got him to record a bit where he tells the whole story of his perspective of getting the job and then making fun of me behind my back after that I had uh, not gotten the job. And here, let's play that right now so that we can get it from uh, Greg's perspective. And now, lore from the Book of Ryan. Basically, how I remember it was like, 
There were these giant panes of glass in the dining room at the co-op that we lived at, and one of them had gotten broken. Ryan thought that the glass had been all cleared out of the broken window, and then I think he like shoved his arm through it to scare somebody, not realizing that there was still a giant chunk of broken glass in the window frame, and so then just gashed the whole side of his arm open on this big exposed shard of broken glass glass so then yeah so they told me that he was in the interview and basically in the middle of the interview they see that he's bleeding <laughs> and they tell him like uh, hey you're ble are, are you okay you're bleeding on the couch you know and so he's like oh my god and doesn't know what to do so they take him to the break room or whatever they're trying to get him cleaned up so basically like the interviews are in 30 minute blocks or whatever. So by the time they get him set, that's like the whole interview, you know, it's just like bandaging Ryan's wound on his arm and then like attempting to clean the couch, I guess. I believe they did have professional cleaners come in and re-clean the couch to try to get the blood out. I ended up getting the job, but after I got comfortable, I told the guys, I was like, hey, you know, my friend told me he also came in and interviewed from this. Do you remember him? And they were like, Oh yeah, we remember him. So they thought that was very funny and then every time when I would go and sit on the couch They would ask me to like show my arms and stuff to make sure that I wasn't bleeding before I got on it And so as you can see Elise Greg said that they are the ones that told me that I was bleeding all over their couch oh, I don't remember it that way. That's even worse. I know that's way worse This episode is sponsored by honey folks We gotta talk about your online spending habits because if you don't have honey the free online shopping tool You're doing it wrong honey scours the internet like an algorithm pirate, searching for buried promo codes. And then when you're at checkout, Honey just applies the best ones to your cart automatically. Honey supports over 30,000 stores online, from tech and gaming sites to popular fashion brands and even food delivery, they do it all! Now personally, I use Honey all the time for big stuff, but also for the small stuff, like this little fitting that I repeatedly buy because I lose it so much. If I save 70 to 80 cents every time I buy this $3 thing, I'm gonna be a millionaire one day. Honey has found it's over 17 million members over two billion dollars in savings. Probably half of them are from this little dongle I keep buying. So save money with Honey. Now remember, if you don't already have Honey, you're probably already missing out on free savings. Honey is free and installs in only a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and also supporting this show. I would never recommend something that I don't use. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash open house. That's joinhoney.com slash open house. Ursus Derpus says, Ryan's greatest enemy is any couch ever. It's true, you do have too many couch stories for one human being to have. I've fallen asleep on a lot of couches, Elise. I've spent many uh, a night sleeping on couches, so it's kind of a numbers game at this point. Wait, 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 you're saying that if you're in a room and there are more couches, like the ratio of couches to Ryan is higher, you're more likely to damage one of those couches? No, I'm saying that I spend more time around couches, therefore I'm, I'm more prone to fuck them up. Than the average human? Yes, it's just, you know, it's like, it's it's a little, it's called, I call it wear and tear. Wear, tear, and, and pee and blood. <laughs> <laughs> the last part doesn't rhyme. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Make it rhyme. From Bougie Foodies versus Fasty Fatties. Wow, what a title. Fast Food Manager Gameplay. From Carlos, despite my love of fast food, I've never worked in a fast food place, quote unquote. This is from me, I said this. And then Carlos says, uh, I think you mean because you've never worked in a fast food place, you are able to still love fast food, blissfully unaware of the horrors your food experiences behind the scenes. I would agree with this. I've worked in retail a ton, but never you know, worked as a server or anything. You never been a lunch um, lady? Pardon? You never been a lunch lady? <laughs> and you never been a lunch lady. Never... You never been a lunch lady <laughs> no, before. I've never been a lunch lady. Oh, okay. You, you never been a lunch lady. I did have an, have an incident once where there was a. I think I, I don't know if I've ever told this in a funhouse video where I got there was a sticker on one of my McDonald's burgers like a sticker had fallen or oh, something. Oh, got it, got it, yes. And landed on the patty. So when I'm eating it, I'm like, what's this? And it's like a sticker. Oh, gross. And then I went back to them and I was like, I'm not. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. It's not what I'm here for. Mistakes happen. I would just love if I could have another burger instead. And the manager was like, no. No, 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 this is unacceptable. I will make you a fresh burger right on the grill. And I thought, hmm, 
this doesn't this doesn't feel right. And then when he gave me the burger, it was like not a McDonald's burger. It was like it had grill marks on the patty, and I was like, what is this? Uh-huh. Not what I wanted. Crazy. Not what I wanted. But this next art is from Mech System Twenty Eight. It's so amazing. <laughs> this is so fucking good. This is probably the the best like artist rendition of my face I've ever seen. Like that looks exactly. Yeah. It looks like me. It's freaking yeah. awesome. From Sam guy, nine Oh nine, Dr. James Eggman. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> he does like look a little bit like Jim Carrey in the Sonic movie. Wow. Look at the Eggman here. Sandman looking at the Eggman. <laughs> Sandman looking at the Eggman. Oh, wow. But yeah, let's talk about you. The true mother of Rygons has arrived. <laughs> oh, look at us together, Elise. Yeah. We're so cute. This is Funhouse Halloween 2017. We did like a little Halloween open house. Everybody was in costume and I'm like, oh, I need a costume. So I did I did a Daenerys Targaryen because it seemed easy to get the wig. But then also going to like Justin's Halloween party and I didn't have a costume. So then I was Daenerys Targaryen. So... I, like at the airport, and you had a duffel bag. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So I, I had, I wore like the wig, and I had a dragon, but then I had like a, a rolling suitcase and wore sweatpants. Because <laughs> I really did, I really didn't know what to do for a Halloween costume. Did you bring your passport and lose it at the Halloween party? <laughs> yeah. And I got deported. So Ryan, someday when you're recording a multi-million dollar movie in Hawaii. Will you remember your old pal, Elise, uh, even though we have some disagreements over the Olympics? Well, oh, well, of course, Elise. You and James are now in every one of my movies. You are stuck with me for the rest of your careers. <laughs> that is the Faustian <laughs> bargain you have just made. Oh, no. I just Hubie Halloween in my pants. 